Finally, I've been waiting for so long to get the perfect tutor drama. I absolutely loved the first episode of Becoming Elizabeth. Everything was, in my opinion, almost perfect. The production values, the actors, the historicity, the authentic feel of the period. Everything was top-notch. There was literally nothing I disliked about it. Maybe the only thing I didn't find entirely agreeable was the strangely modernized soundtrack in the background, but it was still uniquely specific to the show, which I think deserves kudos. I am so glad they took careful care this time in reproducing the Tudor fashion of that day, the hats and the hoods, the garments and whatever, and the sets also. Uh, we did see some men without hats in public and occasionally women without hoods but hey realistically speaking no matter what freaking era you live in you can't always be wearing headwear as if it's glued to your skull or something i bet people took their stupid hats and hoods off even in tudor times i don't really have things to list that i didn't like here's a list of things that i loved in this first episode of the show um, the first scene with Henry VIII's coffin being dragged through the rain, oh my god, I loved it. And the dogs licking the dead juices around it. Uh, that little element comes straight from historical anecdotes. Although, as far as I remember, it was about the coffin having stayed uh, for some time at a church, you know, during masses and to repose and whatnot, and the liquids from the corpse having uh, trickled down to the floor as the dogs licking them. But regardless of the specifics of that anecdote, the scene was clearly on a march to it, which I loved. Any modern historical drama bringing up the actually documented gross historical elements of the past, I'm gonna love it. My next favorite element, and those aren't like in some comparison order, I like them all equally, I'm just doing a chaotic list off the top of my head, the next favorite thing I can think of immediately is the female actresses playing Catherine Parr, Elizabeth and Jane Grey. Of course we know the Catherine actress as portraying uh, Jane Rochford in the Wolf Hall series and she was awesome in that. But I think here she really shines and not only because of her acting skills but also because of the way Catherine Parr's character has been written. She's finally presented as someone who's more of a political player, kind of cunning and with a tendency of using other people. She's scheming, although not necessarily a bad person, but a person with her own ambition nonetheless. It's clearly stated in the episode that she's using Elizabeth as a pawn in order to secure power for her and Thomas Seymour. And it's not that I don't like the depictions of Catherine Parr in say the Tudors and the Six Wives of Henry VIII from the 70s, but those made her look just too meek in my opinion, all caught up in how good of a mother figure she wanted to be and devoted to God and whatever. So far my favorite Catherine Parr is the one from Becoming Elizabeth. Oh, and my favorite scenes with her is uh, where she makes the baffled face whenever someone around her acts in a way that's not perceived as appropriate for their status. Two occurrences of this I can remember. First, when Thomas Seymour's servant tries to address them literally after they've just had sex, and them being bewildered by the fact that he even has a mouth that can speak. <laughs> and the second uh, similar moment at their secret marriage, or when they were being uh, worried about their marriage being treasonous, Catherine asks, what's gonna happen if they find out? They won't execute us, we're family. And the priest drops the mic by saying, that's not an impediment in your family. <laughs> and, uh, and again, Catherine Parr makes that face, like thinking, who the fuck are you to be saying things like that? <laughs> I just loved it. And uh, the actresses portraying Elizabeth and Jane Grey were perfect as well. Of course, Bella Ramsey is a beloved face from Game of Thrones, though I'd like her to shake that off and become known for playing much more substantial roles, like for example freaking Jane Grey, who was fascinating and who I think so far Bella Ramsey has portrayed beautifully. She comes off both extremely intelligent for her age, confident and yet compassionate. 
and her father as well, dragging her around the halls like a dog on a leash, which I think would be absolutely accurate. She was just this little girl taken for a pawn in politics and executed because of the ambitious people around her, never mind her being defined as, quote, queen. The fucking word makes us forget that she was actually just a child, albeit a very impressively intelligent child. And I've never actually seen the Elizabeth uh, actress before, she doesn't really visually remind me of the actual Elizabeth as a teenager, but that doesn't really matter because she's a perfect actress. I love how she's portraying Elizabeth, um, her resolve and fragility at the same time. In the grand scheme of things, we know she becomes Gloriana and basically a historical behemoth, but in youth she was like most young people, at least emotionally, being pained by the same passions and weaknesses. I saw people on Facebook complaining about her being portrayed as actually being sexually interested in Thomas Seymour when he puts the moves on her, as if that never would have happened in actual life. First of all, Seymour was hot. Second of all, Elizabeth was a teenager. Do you really want to tell me that teenagers cannot be attracted to older people? Because if that's what you're saying, you must be living on a separate planet, because if anything, a teenager, especially around 15 or 16, or whatever age Elizabeth was at the time, are like 15 times as horny as a regular person in their late 20s or early 30s. Trust me, when I was a teenager, I could see a tree trunk and think of sex. Don't ask me why. If one thing has stayed consistent throughout human history, no matter how much people have tried to suppress it, it's human sexuality. Anyway, moving on. I just did think of something that I actually didn't like in the episode, and I guess it's gonna be in the series in general. It's the same thing I dislike in Wolf Hall, which is the modernization of the language. What's with all the people using the word fucking as a swear word? That totally takes me out of the Tudor period, and I have studied the different stages of English myself, but I'm not aware, when did the word fucking become a thing in the swear jargon? Did it have a close equivalent in the Tudor period, and would people have used it that often? I really, really doubt it. The historical appropriation of the language is something I really appreciate in the BBC dramas from the 70s, you know, the Six Wives, Elizabeth R, I, Claudius, the Cleopatras, and whatnot. None of them ever used the word fucking, and they did have their profanities, but they were all kind of made to sound as if historically appropriate. Me hearing the word fucking in a Tudor drama kind of makes me feel like when I saw the costumes in Rain. Just out of place and uh, a bit ridiculous. Anyways, despite this last bit, my rating for the first episode of Becoming Elizabeth is 10 out of 10. This is almost exactly what I want from my Tudor dramas. I want to congratulate their team on their hard work, wish them all the best in the future, and beg them to keep it up. I cannot wait for the rest of the season. 